brief history of black movements as protests or dance instructions for Mr. Cam Newton. Hey Cam, remember how that lady called you a thug because of your end zone dance? See, it's not because she thought you were violent. She just wanted you silent. See, before there was an NFL, on Saturday nights, they would take their sons and daughters down to the slave quarters to hear them niggas sing. To watch them niggas sling hips like they were shaking off them chains. And to keep their slave masters entertained, those dark-skinned bondsmen would summon Mother Africa with their waist and thrust their pelvic bones until God, until morning came. See, when you're a slave, the only way to escape is to escape. So either you ran away or you shimmied under star-spangled nights while white folks watched you sway and then came and led you back to the barn before daybreak because they knew you'd break away. Oh, they've been doing the same thing since they saw Josephine Baker swing and shake her money maker. She had them so embarrassed they ran her ass all the way to Paris. So how do you think they're going to feel when they see you dancing all over the field? They are civilization succubus. They appropriate cultures. They believe in the spectacular Africa dapper where Black Lives Matter is less effective than cans of Pepsi. So if you really want to upset those bastards, let them see you dancing. See, they actually feel hurt when they see us twerk. Because they do not have the dark continent in their hips. See, they're dead. But they can't toasty roll. Oh, they wobble when they wobble, real slow. Man, their feet have no funk. They cannot jump or improvise on that kick turn part of the electric slide. Now, maybe one or two can moonwalk, but they always look bound by gravity. I mean, even when we cabbage patch, see? Oh, they can't reverse the concentric circle. Oh, boy, but they could not. Do the walk. I mean, even when they pop lock, they look less like turbo, ozone, and rerun, and more akin to a lame business or Steve Urkel before he became Stefan. I bet in 1956 when we started doing the twist, they got tangled up. Oh, they've been trying to stop it ever since we've been Lindy hopping. And when the Godfather of Soul slid across the floor, they were astounded by what James Brown did but they still made him enter through the back door. So don't trip, long before we nay-nayed or we whipped, they actually whipped nay-nay. So on Sundays, we descendants of slaves will slap high fives when you dive into the end zone and do things they can't understand because it's halfway between the Holy Ghost and the Humpty Dance, and they're gonna tell you it shows no class, but what it really is, is too black. See, even with their knack for oppression and misappropriation, they know when you're celebrating, it reminds them that there's one thing they haven't taken, and that's our unstillable essence, our unkillable black souls. Cam, do not listen to them, man. You just dare on them hoes. <laughs>